channel so today I created another fall makeup look and I'm gonna be having a few more coming your way this one's pretty easy so I paired some neutral gold eyes with a bold berry lip so if you want to see how to recreate this look then just keep watching hey guys so my eyes are already primed with max soft ochre paint pot and i'm going to be going in with my morphe 350 palette which i have not touched for a little while but since it's fall i thought that this would be a perfect time so i'm going to be taking that shade it's kind of reminiscent of max soft brown or makeup geeks creme brulee and i'm just going to be dusting that into my crease Next, we're going to be taking that shimmery brown color and I decided to put that in my outer V and a little bit in the crease and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush to do so. For this look, I'm mostly focusing the brown on the outer V and then dusting very lightly into the crease. I don't want a really bold crease for this look, I want it to be very subtle. Next, I'm going to be taking this skin tone color just to diffuse everything and make sure that everything is well blended. Now for the lid shade, I'm going to be using Get Lucky by ColourPop and this is a really beautiful true gold and I'll just be applying that with a flat synthetic brush and then afterwards I'll be applying it with my fingers just to intensify it a little bit more. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be using Rapunzel by Makeup Geek and then I'm just going to be going over that brown shade once again just to make sure that everything is well blended with all three shades that are on our eyes. For my inner corner highlights, I'll be using Nylon by MAC and this is definitely like a goldish kind of shade but definitely has a lot of white and vanilla undertones so I thought that this looked really nice with all of these colors together. After that, I'm going to be lining my top lash line only with Swerve Gel Liner by ColourPop, which is just the basic black. And then I'll be lining my bottom lash line with some of that same brown shimmery shade and a little bit of Get Lucky just over it as we transition into nylon, which I pulled down a little bit into my tear duct. For my eyelashes today, I'm just going to be putting on some mascara on my top and bottom lashes and as usual, I am using L'Oreal Telescopic and for my falsies today, I'm going to be using Red Cherry 138. As usual, for bronzer, I'm going to be using Kat Von D Shade and Light and I'll just be applying that to my forehead and my cheekbones. For blush, I'm going to be using this bronzy terracotta shade. The highlight that I'm applying today is Becca Champagne Pop. I know some people don't really like using a highlight when we're coming into fall and winter, but I personally really like it. I think that it makes the skin look very youthful. For lips today, I'm going to be going in with this berry shade. On camera, it's coming off a little bit more like a deep red, but in person, it's more of a plum with some red in it, so more so of a purple kind of shade. Anyhow, this is Berry Bite by BH, and it's one of their Cream Lux lipsticks. So this is the finished look. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!